In this video, I'll go through the steps you need to follow to verify your website in Search Console using the DNS record method. <music> DNS verification requires you to add the DNS record in your domain name provider. This is the only method supported for domain properties. So I'll demonstrate DNS record verification by creating a domain property. But note that you can also use DNS record verification on URL prefix properties. Add your domain to the domain option, as shown in the screen, and click Continue. In the Instructions dialog, you'll see two options. If your domain register is listed in the Instructions dropdown, you'll be walked through an easier automated process to verify your site. For example, if your DNS provider is GoDaddy, Choose it from the list and click Start Verification. This will lead you to their login page where you'll need the credentials used in GoDaddy. After logging in, click Authorize, and you'll be redirected to Search Console. But don't worry if the verification doesn't work immediately. Just wait a few hours or a day and try verifying again by choosing it from the properties list. Sometimes DNS record changes can be slow. If your domain name provider is not in the list, you'll need to follow written instructions in the Help Center to copy your DNS text record into your domain provider. Start by copying the text record from the dialog after entering your domain. Then click Full Details to open up the Help Center. You'll see the full process documented there. We have instructions for a lot of domain providers. Find yours in the list and click the link for more information. Now follow the instructions for your specific provider. If you're asked to provide a Google security token, that's the token you copied from Search Console's verification dialog a minute ago. After you change your DNS record, go back to Search Console and click Verify in the verification pane. If the verification doesn't work immediately, wait a few hours or a day and try again, as the change may take some time to take effect. Just choose the unverified property from the Properties dropdown, and it will try to verify you automatically. To stay verified, don't remove the DNS record, even after verification succeeds. If you perform the steps above and your verification does not succeed, check the full details link mentioned previously to learn about potential errors. You can find out more about those errors and how to handle them in the Help Center. Thank you for watching and see you on YouTube.